138 horsepower, and 148 foot-pounds of torque. Since the mission of the Eco version is to compete against the likes of the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic, engineers had to find other ways to save gas. So what they did was shed about 80 pounds from the regular cruise. That means don't look for leather seats or the full complement of technology on this car. We also found it's configured to deliver a slower throttle response, so it feels a little like a hybrid off of a dead stop. In a daily traffic situation, the Eco version of the cruise is okay. The downside might be the level of cabin operating noise. Since it's been stripped down to the basics, sound deadening materials are not in abundance. However, the upside of the vehicle is the interior space. For passengers, the 95 cubic feet of space means four adults can be seated comfortably. The trunk capacity of 15 cubic feet can hold their luggage, that is if everyone packs lightly. With assembly in Lordstown, Ohio, the cruise can also brag that it has a distinctively American-built flair about it. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.